Villa was a practical stop. Come in, spend the night, get on the ferry in the morning and go to Sicily. And we ended up here at the Round the World Bed and Breakfast. And that's where everything changed. <gasps> I woke up 3 o'clock in the morning, a chest pains, and then started throbbing in my left arm. I ran upstairs because Angela and Corrado had said, if you need anything, we're just one floor up. E quindi lei mi ha spiegato che stava male. Quindi la prima cosa che ho fatto è quella di chiamare l'ambulanza. Diciamo subito ho rilevato insomma, la gravità del caso. He was extremely critical. There was no blood flow. They got him in the ambulance. I was not allowed to go with him. So Corrado and Elenia said, get in the car, we're going. Everybody was asking me questions, but I didn't know what they were saying. It was really a scary situation. They talked very loud with their hands, and <laughs> then they would turn around, and I got this worried look, and they'd all smile and give me the thumbs up, and then they'd walk away, and I'd, okay. <laughs> and I was going into a major heart attack, actually. Jim was in the hospital for five days. Corrado and Elenia translated every doctor's conversation. La portavo ogni giorno io, dalle due e mezzo alle tre e mezzo in ospedale. Corrado was actually on vacation that week. It came to, as such a surprise that he was doing all of this on his very own time, his vacation time where he could be off enjoying himself, but instead he was helping us. I, I don't know what I would have done without them. I would have been lost. They took me in like a family. And that's all I could think about was losing Jim. Cercavamo di, di, di tranquillizzare Kim. E questo, la, la paura come invece si leggeva negli occhi di Kim. The language barrier was a little bit of an issue, since we don't speak Italian and they don't speak English. They said, we're worried about you. You need to get out. So the entire family took me out shopping, <laughs> grocery shopping, which was, it sounds so funny, but it was such a release. Get my mind off the emergency. When Jim was released, they continued to be there. They took our dirty clothes to the laundry, cooked for us. They offered to go pick up prescriptions. We were in the right place at the right time with the right people. This is not something that you find, you know? It's extraordinary. I'll be eternally grateful for everything that they did for us. We're here for these wonderful people who were there for us. We were just passing through, going to be one night and be in Sicily. But I had a problem, and these guys showed up out of nowhere at 3 o'clock in the morning. I feel like I've added to my family with you people. You're our heroes. Thank <laughs> you.